Chickens are the most populous bird on the planet. There are 23 billion of them at any given time. That's 10 times more than any other bird. It's by far the fastest growing meat product. This farm is at the forefront of a technology revolution that has drastically changed chicken farming. You can't get away from the scale. You know, there are 45,000 birds in this barn managed by one computer. Two men will run 200,000 birds for me. Chickens were first domesticated over 8,000 years ago. But it wasn't until the 1940s that major efforts were made to create a super breed. The aim of that competition was to try and encourage the development of a fast-growing chicken that could provide a larger amount of protein at an affordable cost. The success of the contest proves conclusively that it is possible to breed chickens with superior meat-type characteristics. Today, the life cycle of broilers, chickens that are bred purely for their meat, is entirely preordained. They grow faster and bigger than ever before, and they can only live supported by human technology. Modern uh, industrialised farming requires the use of artificial light, artificial temperature. The whole life of these birds is effectively controlled through technology. Chickens have changed so quickly, they are now four times the size they were in the 1950s. 90,000 chicks at a time get delivered. It's our job to nurture them and farm them up to a bird that's then ready to go back for processing. That starts around day 34. The biggest birds for us off of this farm are around 39 days of age. Then we have a really frantic seven to 10 days to clean everywhere, get it all nice and warm and fresh, ready for the next batch of chicks. We do that seven and a half, eight times a year. This efficiency is passed on to the consumer it's good value. I don't like referring to it as cheap. These are not cheap. These are animals. They have a worth. But it is great value. It is uniform. It's healthy for you and consumers love it. The reality of farming any animal for meat is you take it to its optimal place and then you take it to turn it for human consumption. These birds, 38, 39 days, is as far as we want to take them for the product that we want to buy. You are talking significant cost difference, and I think that's why we see the demand is not there. If the demand was there, we'd all be doing it. What's key for me in being a farmer of chicken is to understand what the consumer wants to buy. We are purely market driven. For as long as shoppers want cheap and plentiful chicken, they will continue to be bred ever more intensively.